At the liberation, with prompting by the government, the goals for the aeronautics industry are clear. Charles Tillon, Communist Minister of the Air Force, announces. I invite you to a great effort of organization and renovation of French aviation. No one must shirk. At the age of 53, Marcel Dassault resumes his work as on the first day. He hires back his pre-war colleagues, such as Xavier Diribarne, Henri Desplantes, and Paul Desplantes, and new faces such as Jean Cabrière. Faithful to his convictions, he develops and brings to completion prototypes that he finances with his own funds. The French military wants to build up its air fleet. The Minister of the Air Force, André Marozelli, places an order for 325 Flamands. At the 1949 air show, President Vincent Auriol witnesses the unveiling of the Ouragan, the first entirely French jet fighter aircraft, a novelty ordered by the government. This aircraft is the basis of a new generation of aircraft, the Mystère, whose multiple developments leave their mark on their time. The Mystère 4 needs a flourishing sales life. At Bordeaux, a Mystère 4 was handed over by the Dassault factories to the U.S. Air Force for the Central European Forces in the presence of its manufacturer. Monsieur Marcel Dassault, alongside Mr. Laforest, the Air Force Secretary of State, handed over the 225th Mystère 4 to NATO authorities. Like his father, Serge Dassault has a passion for aviation. A young graduate of Soup Aero, in 1952, he joins the company in the Production Aircraft Engineering Office. Born on April 4, 1925, his schooling takes place partly in Paris, at Janson de Sailly Secondary School, and partly in southern France. Back in the capital, he graduates from the Polytechnic School in 1948. At the controls of a Mystère II, Jacqueline Auriol is the second woman in the world to break the sound barrier. Over many years, she regularly breaks numerous speed records. I'm extremely pleased to have won this title on a French plane, and that the fastest woman in the world is a French woman. But there are also tragedies. The death of test pilots such as Charles Monnier and Kostya Rosanov. Serge Dassault, flight test director since 1955, creates a test charter, which is still applied 50 years later. The Korean War and the Suez Crisis shortly afterwards in 1956 forced the French government to redefine its strategy. Charles de Gaulle wants to provide France with its own nuclear deterrent. The Mirage III, developed by Marcel Dassault with his own funds, takes flight in 1956. Then comes the Mirage IV in 1959, carrying the strategic nuclear charge. These aircraft are perfectly adapted to their objectives. Charles de Gaulle is their most fervent promoter. A few years later, the Six-Day War in 1967, the Mirage Threes win renown for their effectiveness in the theater of operations. Dassault aircraft win recognition throughout the world. The Mirage Three is then exported to a large number of countries. Defense Minister Pierre Mesmer and President Charles de Gaulle reorganize the French aeronautics world, and the Dassault company is awarded the fighter aircraft manufacturing contract. This decade is a period of very extensive production of military prototypes. Delta Wing aircraft with the Mirage 1, and variable sweep Mirage G, and so on. Vertical flights with, among others, the Balzac, and the Mirage 3 V02. This research on innovative technological concepts helps the company maintain its top level position. For business aircraft, the U.S. market is buoyant. Serge Dassault, general manager for exports since 1961, returns from the United States with a report full of promise for the future. Lindbergh visits Merignac and discovers the Mystère 20. His company, Pan Am, immediately orders 120 units. The Falcon range is born and destined for unceasing growth.
At the same time, Marcel Dassault develops the Mercure. He believes in this commercial transport aircraft and brings numerous partners together on the project. Thanks to his tenacity, the first European cooperation program for civilian aircraft is established. The aircraft family grows, and so does Nicole and Serge Dassault's family. They have their fourth child. After Olivier, Laurent, and Thierry, Marie-Hélène is born. 